Steve Montana Morning Sprint. Everything you need to know to start the day. Sponsored by Bitter Root Furniture. Drive a little, save a lot. Yeah, it's time for your morning sprint. Brooke has your weather in our headlines. I'm clicking on the latest alerts from Gallatin County and Post. Still say that phone calls to 911 are being dropped after a few minutes, but are going through. You're advised to stay on the line and call back right away if your call gets dropped. Officials say Verizon is working on the issue. Notices are still up this morning for a 15-year-old girl who went missing earlier from the Blackfeet Reservation. Courtney Running Crane is 5'6", 140 pounds. People last saw her Tuesday in black leggings and a pink sweater. If you have any information, you're asked to contact Blackfeet Law Enforcement or your police. In Butte, a Washington man is facing five felony charges. Authorities accuse Brandon Noth of Bothell, Washington, of possessing and intending to distribute large amounts of drugs. Housekeeping staff members alerted officers uh, of drugs found in a hotel room there in Butte. The officers then found methamphetamine in that hotel room and then fentanyl powder, methamphetamine, heroin, and about 150 counts fentanyl pills in Noth's rental truck. His next court date is January 17th. Missoula police are warning you about recent home intrusions. Officers say they arrested the suspect of the recent home intrusions in the East Broadway and Rattlesnake areas and that the 43-year-old woman has not shown signs of aggression toward the residents. Police urge you to lock up all home and vehicle doors. Call 911 if you th see anything suspicious, including strangers try to open doors. And they want you to light your outdoors and get some motion sensor lights as well. All right, Bozeman is moving pet licensing online to try and increase compliance as the number of licensed pets has decreased while the population is increasing. Bozeman says it's easier to find your missing pet if it's properly licensed and all the revenue goes to the Humane Society Animal Control and Dog Parks. Well, the Powerball is now up to more than $700 million after no winner claimed the Christmas jackpot last night. That's an increase of about $15 million. This grand prize would be the ninth largest prize in Powerball history. All right, and quickly, I have a look at Lolo Pass this morning from the Idaho Department of Transportation, but I'm just looking on our road conditions. We've got scattered frost and ice around Columbia Falls, St. Regis, Bonner, Phillipsburg, and then it changes to scattered snow and ice around Butte and Bozeman this morning. Well, the time is at 6.58, kind of a mild start across western Montana. We're at 28 right now in Kalispell. A little bit of fog trying to form for you in the Flathead Valley. It is 15 currently in Butte, 18 in Bozeman, 26 this morning in the Missoula Valley. Daytime highs today right around 40 degrees. Now, we could see a couple of isolated uh, mountain flurries, otherwise mix of sun and clouds for us as we head through the afternoon. Temperatures will be stuck in the 30s for Kalispell and Bozeman, but we do expect some warmer weather as we head into the weekend. High pressure sticks around for us as we head into the weekend well into next week. This is going to lead to the development of some valley inversions, thus a low deck of stratus clouds and maybe some fog in and around Missoula with temperatures being held down a bit. We'll stay in the mid 30s, but that's still above normal for this time of year. For southwest Montana, low 40s for you Saturday and Sunday. That ridge is going to break down by the middle of next week. We transition to a northwest flow and we'll be watching for the threat of some showers as we head into next weekend. So make sure you stay alert to those changing weather conditions. Thank you, Brooke. NBC Montana is back tonight with your latest news and weather. We will have detailed forecasts for Kalispell, Missoula, Butte, and Bozeman. And we'll be looking into what went haywire with Vermont.